I have a pretty good relationship with Pataka. My phone hasn't shipped yet. But we've got three hours to get power back on, allegedly. Hi, this is a dumb bit. I just woke up. A couple things I didn't actually update you about. I want to talk about. So I've obviously got my phone coming. I've talked about that. I'm also doing a separate unboxing video, hopefully Friday, if not Saturday, when the phone comes. And you're not going to see me, by the way. I'm getting dressed. Anyway, um, so <laughs> we're going to do an unboxing video instead of a Pokemon video this week, which I'm actually interested to see how that goes. Hey, man, my hair is not done yet. But we do have something I, I didn't talk about yet, which I don't think it's here yet. I can go check, though. It's only like noon, like I said, so there's a chance it won't be here. From my friends now, I would say, over at Pataka. So I, it's so weird, the chairs aren't here. I have a pretty good relationship with Pataka. Uh, they make phone cases and what used to be a, a pr proprietary magnetic system, now they use MagSafe. And uh, anyway, they're, uh, they're sending me a new phone case for free, actually. My last one was like, they gave me 40% off or something. It's not here. They gave me 40% off or something um, for my case for the iPhone XS, which I do frequently. Well, it's, it's the phone case I've been using nigh the whole time I've had it because um, I really like the phone case. But they're sending me one for free. Um, which is very nice of them. I have to show it in my unboxing of the iPhone, and then I'll do a standalone review of the case, I think. Um, I, I don't know if I'm going to put that in a vlog or like an actual standalone review. I haven't talked to them about it specifically. And uh, we've also got the phone coming Friday, allegedly. It hasn't shipped yet. It's Tuesday. So hopefully it ships later today. Uh, I'm going to go uh, and edit now. Well, I'm going to comb my hair, go to the bathroom, then edit. I'll see you when my package gets here. It's here. I can't show you the box, the sides of the box, so um, let me just cut them real quick. Let's get this out. There we go. The Pataka Mag EZ Case 2 for 13 Pro. That clearly added on because we didn't know the name. Love that. The weight, the thickness, it's MagSafe compatible, genuine aramid fiber, wireless charging friendly, slim protective. I, you know, I already know everything about this. Let's just crack into it. We pull this off, right? Yeah. Alternative tech life. Oh, that's a chonky boy. One second removal instruction. Remove from the left side of the phone. Holy. Thank you. We are grateful for your order. What are these? Use the sticker to improve the fit. If there is a case and device size, do not use your device. What? Do not use it if the case fits your device correctly. Wireless chargers um, that aren't compatible with this case. But this is all of their products. Pretty cool. So obviously I don't have my iPhone 13 Pro to go along with it, but I do have my 10s to go along with it. So you can see it is a smidge taller. Is it wider? A hair wider as well from my current one. So I, I used to have the uh, the red and black, I think they call this Twill, um, but they only had this to send me, the just standard black. It's going to look sick with the, the Sierra blue. The, the phone definitely feels bigger, so that's going to be weird. And the roundness, I'm used to having, you know, I have my 10s got round sides. This is very different. But look at how huge that camera system is, like compared to the 10s, That's crazy, dude. I did not expect it to be that different. Wow. I am so excited for Friday now. I can't wait to try all this out. So yeah, thanks to Pataka for sending this out. I guess technically, I do have to say that they did send this to me for free. Um, so there's like a, a thing that'll pop up that says there's like a sponsored segment in this. 
or whatever it says on YouTube. So this is that. Oh, I'm so excited to take a look at this with the actual phone in hand. Oh my god. It is pouring rain outside. It feels like, because of the brightness of outside, it feels like it's, I don't know, maybe 5 p.m. It's only actually about 3. Man, oh man. Um, two things I didn't mention since yesterday. One, I do have to go to the house today, which is very unfortunate, because I don't want to. Um, but they, they want to put some soundproofing in the ceiling now, they decided. Which is weird, because we're going to put the wall we just built. Uh, the other thing is, I talked about this yesterday, but I didn't show it. Uh, these chairs that were in this living room are gone. It's just empty. So it's kind of loud here. Actually, that goes pretty bad. I got four. I got a lot of things to mention. Actually, I got another thing. Um, I ordered a carved phone case. And you might be like, Andrew, you don't use carved like phone cases. You, you get them and you don't use them, because I got the Extra Life ones. Um, and you're right. But they never had, well, well, I always use this phone case, right? But they never had uh, the new MagSafe system. But now they do, um, including their Live Edge cases. I've wanted a Live Edge case from Carved for, I want to say, five or more years. Probably since I got my iPhone 7. Um, and the Live Edge case from Carved for the uninitiated is they take their resin and wood, so they they have their wood burls, um, they dump resin on them, and they cut them into slices um, that are like, you know, yay thick or so, and uh, they hand, well, basically hand make a case um, for a phone. Uh, in particular, I got one that matches this. So this is my uh, carved bracelet. Brooke and I both have carved bracelets. Um, I got us both them for gifts. Um, but I got one that matches that and it's a live edge case. So it's not just the little slice in the back they put in the normal cases. This is a nearly $200 case because it's handmade. And the whole thing, the whole case is wood and resin. And I am so excited to get it. And then also my, the third, fourth, whatever it is thing I want to talk about, my phone hasn't shipped yet. Um, I was expecting it to ship by like Tuesday, um, cause it would take like three days, four days to get here. It's supposed to be here Friday. It's Wednesday now. It hasn't shipped yet. I'm really worried. It better ship tonight because if not, they're going to literally have to over overnight it to me. Depending on how it's coming, that just won't get here tomorrow. If it's coming FedEx, there's just literally no way it'll be here tomorrow or tomorrow, um, Friday. Um, if it's like UPS, maybe. I think they do UPS. If it's USPS, who who knows? Honestly, that could be it. Could be early for all I know. So I'm gonna eat, uh, and I, as much as I don't want to, and then we're going to say we. I'm going to go over to the house oh, and help with putting more drywall up on the parts of the wall. Wait, why are they even? How are they even putting drywall up? Oh, maybe around the door. Makes sense. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna help with putting drywall up around the door. Uh, and then like mudding it and stuff. And then I guess they're doing some painting, maybe? I help with that too. Yay. So, just got home from painting and um, power's off. Yeah, power went out. It is dummy windy outside. Oh, my shoes are all paintified. It's dummy windy outside. And uh, I have to try to shower in this. I don't know if I'm going to stream tonight now because the power's out and it's been out for a hot minute and it's out all over. The place was a little creepy with no one in it. You see me? Hey. So um, I'm going to try to shower over there in like pitch black. Let's do it. <laughs> Hi. I know it's spooky lighting. It's 2.56 in the morning and we still don't have power. I just woke up. I slept for like four and a half hours or so, five hours. I don't know what to do now because I'm awake. I'm not tired. Um, maybe I just like eat and go back to bed. What do people do when they didn't have power and internet? I really don't know. It's not like I can read. 
I don't have any books. I do have books, but I don't have light because I have to save my battery on my phone. I was going to go for a walk, honestly, but I think it's still windy and rainy, so I can't really go do that. I wouldn't mind a walk, though. It's also pretty cold out. My iPhone still hasn't shipped yet, and it's Thursday at 3 a.m., so I imagine they would have to start shipping this morning or this afternoon to get here Friday. Apparently, it just happens a lot with Apple stuff. They'll ship, like, the day before and get there in, like, 16 hours to get delivered, which is crazy. I don't really order much stuff from Apple directly, so that's pretty nuts. My mom said uh, it's supposed to be windy and shit until like 8 a.m., so they probably won't work on it until after the wind stops, but the wind doesn't appear to be as bad as it was earlier, so maybe sooner rather than later? I, I guess um, I hope I have power in when I wake up in the morning, I guess, or I probably won't. I've got a Cadbury fruit and nut bar sitting in my fridge. And um, I grab a Sprite out. <laughs> have some Sprite and chocolate. I have no idea. Not gonna be able to see anything, but. All this ambient noise, besides the car, it's all generators because there's no power in like the middle section. I mean, they've got a generator going, but there's like no power in the middle section of my town. Of course, right where I live. You just hear generators going. So much pollution happening. It's about 7 p.m. right now. Uh, I'm actually about to leave. I'm actually sitting by the water. Um, you can see it out there. I'm sitting by the river right now. Um, just trying to hang out and chill out because my mom uh, and Mike were having a little bit of a fit. But <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to go do. I guess just wait for the power to come back on. It's kind of been my thing the past two days. Um, I want to go like mess around with my phone a little bit, but there's not much for me to do and I need to save the battery as much as I can. I was supposed to have power back on allegedly by 10 again. Instead of saying a crew is going to be scheduled, we actually now have a crew scheduled. Um, and when they arrive, we'll get a new time and time estimate, but they haven't arrived, even though we definitely saw a truck driving around. Uh, they're, no, they're nowhere to be found now. Um, so I guess maybe they're just surveying and then they'll send another crew out later. But we've got three hours to get power back on, allegedly. Um, hopefully. I have a feeling we're not going to have power again tonight. Uh, maybe we'll have it by tomorrow morning. But it just really sucks. I wanted to make my, my iPhone video today, but I can't. So, that's cool. I'm going to go do something. I don't know what. And uh, I'll update you later. It's back. It's 8 p.m. It got it, it came back on around like 7.25 or so. But I was um a little worried about it not like staying on, but the, the trucks have left. Uh there's actually some over near the house, the new house. So now my work day begins. I'm actually gonna go shower. Then after I shower, I'm going to uh oh god, I'm gonna start editing the unboxing of the iPhone, try to get that up as soon as possible so it's relevant. Uh, I don't know, if I'm probably gonna put it up tomorrow at 11 a.m., which sucks, but I also just wanna have to put it up at this point. But I'm gonna edit it up tonight, probably watch some videos for once, relax, and then sleep calmly with, <laughs> while well, finally having some, uh, some white noise to sleep to. Hey, so it is that last bit of the vlog, and I want to do a quick little recap of some things I didn't uh, completely cover. One, I did get my phone on Friday, on time. I filmed the whole unboxing with no power, uh, mostly just running off of power bricks for my camera and stuff. It worked out. The video turned out okay. I got it up uh, for either 
Saturday or Sunday. I ended up getting it up. Um, anyway, it worked out. Uh, I didn't get that many views. So I'll try to have it linked down below if I remember. Then, um, when the power came back, uh, I did got all my editing done. It was great. I also showered in complete darkness, which was my first time doing that. And I have to say, I want to do it again. I might do it after I finish editing this, honestly. Uh, let's talk about the week 121 totals. And believe it or not, even though the power was out, I actually got to do a lot. I, <laughs> I don't know how. Uh, 1,923 minutes or 32 hours and three minutes. Obviously, it's no 40 hour work week. It wasn't perfect. But I, even though the power was out for three days or so, um, I actually got to spend a lot of time working, like a little below average, but a good week. So, other than that, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Feel free to check out uh, twitch.tv slash HQ. I'm actually streaming myself editing this and filming this right now, which is kind of weird and super meta but i stream there every single day around 9 9 30 p.m eastern time uh, a little wacky right now with a new house but around those times uh every day it's a lot of fps games apex legends black ops cold war and we'll be, we'll, we'll be playing uh battlefield 2042 halo infinite and probably cod vanguard when those come out later this year as well um you can also check out both my youtube channels obviously here feel free to subscribe i do upload a vlog every single week and pokemon content as well every friday uh, you can also check out my gaming channel. I do not upload on there very often, but it exists. Uh, beyond that, all my social medias are linked down below. My Discord, um, which is the best way to get notified when I go live. And everything else you could possibly want is also down there. So, thank you for watching. Like the video if you liked it. Favorite the video if it was your favorite. Don't forget to share the video, subscribe for more. And I'll see you later. Take care.